Uh, I'm Virginia Rodez. Um, I'm a professor at Universidad de la República in Uruguay, associated professor, and uh, I am also a uh, um, UNESCO Chair in Open Education in the in the same university in Uruguay. Um, uh, I'm currently working on uh, open education, open digital education in my university. Uh, I was working in the, this area since uh, 2008. And before that, I was working on uh, the, the first uh, initiatives in, in distance education in, in Uruguay since uh, 20 years, I think, <laughs> and uh, now I'm, I'm I'm working focusing um, my research and my practice in in open education and developing uh, with uh, many many groups in research areas uh, like uh, educational technologies uh, development, uh, uh, learning analytics, uh, uh, open education, and uh, digital competencies and uh, there are a lot of uh, areas I work but it's it's like uh, the same of uh, uh, um, the, the, the the people that, that is work uh, in, in in this area in open in education and open technologies and like that so uh, this is this is me uh, I, I I'm part of the of the Gaucheian network uh, since uh, I started my PhD. Uh, late in my <laughs> in my life, uh, I was uh, very grown up when I started my my PhD, uh, working on the um, uh, the adoption of open educational resources in Latin America, and uh, I worked uh, with a lot of uh, people in the in in the network uh, to develop uh, um, uh, some. Uh, um, collaborative initiatives uh, and also uh, to to put the, uh, to highlight the importance of the uh, GoGM network in 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 the life of the uh, students in, <laughs> in involved in 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 in, in uh, doctoral studies. So uh, this is my perhaps this is me. <laughs> I work a lot in. Um, in the in Latin America, with many groups uh, uh, in practice and uh, as practitioner of open education, and also as researcher and also developing policies, um, and um, and also I work with uh, many groups in, in in Europe and in states and uh, also in Canada. So I, I, I'm quite a connected with the global practices and uh, it's, I'm very happy to to it and also to introduce uh, the colonial uh, perspective on open education in in this in this area yes um, my my fellowship was dedicated to deepen the understanding of the adoption of open educational resources and repositories in overcoming the educational crisis during the covid pandemic the covid-19 pandemic focusing on k-12 teachers in Uruguay. Um, uh, I implemented a qualitative methodology based on my previous Latin American critical conceptual model on the adoption of OER. And I developed uh, individual and group uh, interviews with the school principals and group uh, interviews with teachers from three schools uh, in Montevideo, which is the capital of Uruguay, a school in the metropolitan area, and also a school in a province located in the north of the country. And uh, this provided a variability and comparability to the study. Um, I recorded more than uh, 10 hours of uh, interviews and uh, I used um, ground theory to uh, to analyze the, the data collected and uh, the results uh, highlight the regarding integration into practice for example uh, highlight the, the evidence of new practices of use of OER uh, currently available in national repositories and educational platforms um, Reusing practices uh, involve few adaptations, a part of inspiration. It's like in, in the same in I found in uh, in in my in my PhD uh, thesis uh, um, focused on uh, university teachers. Um, sharing, but uh, sharing practices are observed between peers and on a human scale, I think, uh, and in educational institutions or between nearby schools 
um, and they value very much collaborative practices. And uh, there is a general lack of uh, difference uh, between uh, OER and other educational resources available in the internet. Uh, the leadership role uh, is very important in, among the creation practices uh, and also involved teaching teams. And the school principal is uh, very important in leading this, uh, this experience. Also, uh, the importance of the already trained teachers already trained in tech to promote and lead the work of other teachers. And um, I found also uh, that some perceptions and attitudes uh, that show it, I think, many lessons learned in the process of becoming Asian, so in the curriculum change. And powerful representation show the opening to a new paradigm. Um, are influenced. This, these perceptions are influenced by personal impacts, both uh, at the level of their personal identity, like emotional impact, the quarantine, uncertainty, uh, tiredness, recognition, and personal growth, and they teach in professional identity, like uh, something related to relationship with the technology, agency, meaning of teaching, professional satisfaction, teaching career, and teacher trajectory. Uh, I think these findings show the relevance of teacher agency as curriculum changers and the leadership of those responsible for an educational community uh, in, 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 in promoting the adoption of OER. Uh, the need, uh, also the need to drastically change teaching practices towards the virtual modality and the emergency remote teaching uh, generated by the health emergency operated as a driver, making the adoption of OER uh, a need. And I have also observed a high instability of this transformation in the evolution towards the return to face-to-face -to -face education during the data collection process. We, I think this instability will require the establishment of uh, mechanisms to promote and prioritize uh, the creation, adaptation, and sharing of OER in order to give visibility of the value of these practices and give sustainability to the learning generated by the pandemic. Well, uh, I think I, I've, um, I faced many challenges uh, to carry out the, the research and the fulfillment of the objectives. Uh, that were imposed by the COVID-19 pandemic itself. Uh, I think the lockdown and the conditions of high demand of work for both for the interviews and, and teachers and managerial staff, as well as me as researcher working in the online education university sector, uh, both activities uh, saw an increase in the workload and it was really difficult to organize the agenda and make interview schedules and make room for research also for me. Uh, these conditions were overcame uh, thanks to the enormous commitment of the teachers and school principals in their willingness to share their practices and make their voice uh, heard, showing the important actions they were carrying out uh, with their students. Uh, however, they they, f they felt that they were little visualized. Um, I have been very happy to have the opportunity to work on a project with the school teachers with the framework of a period to, that will be historic <laughs> and to be able to do it uh, with time and specific dedication. I have learned a lot uh, along the way in relation to, to what was happening and I felt privileged to be able to, to hear the, those stories. Well, I, I decided to submit a proposal to the first coaching call for fellowships with the object to, to give an account on, on, of the change and deepening up open education during the, these first years of the, the COVID-19 pandemic and the conditions and particularities in which this process uh, has occurred in these four public primary schools in Uruguay. I think the biggest takeaway uh, was to identify the agency of teachers in the transformation of the curriculum. Uh, the process of creating and reuse OER and the sharing practice uh, between colleagues, groups, schools, and how all these processes were taking place within the framework of a situation of extreme uh, vulnerability of all educational sectors. So I think this is the most important takeaway for, of my research.
I think uh, um, everything in the Gold Chain Fellowship uh, is stream <laughs> good for 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 uh, every one involved with uh, is, 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 uh, is excellent. At all times, I felt supported uh, by the coordination team and encouraged. To... I think that the most important thing for me was to be encouraged to openly share the progress of my research in the blog post um, and, and, the, and, and the help I, I, I received the, in the review of this blog post and also the, 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 the stimulus I, I, I received. Um, I'm, I'm not uh, used to blogging, and it was uh, difficult for me, but it helped me to realize the importance of uh, uh, open research understood as an open work process. So I, I experimented this, and I was very uh, supported by the team, and also to report all the all the, um, the, the steps uh, in, 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 in some uh, um, reports, uh, partial reports and final reports, and that uh, helped me to, to write and, uh, and and to 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 reflect uh, about my practice as a, an open researcher. So this is, I think, it's, it's a wonderful scheme. I think, and the support was excellent. Thank you very much. Well, um, I would like to take advantage of this interview to share how good uh, this experience has been for me for many reasons. Uh, First of all, I hope that, that the study developed under the Gaussian Research Fellowship may make a contribution to understanding of the phenomenon as well as to making recommendations that can guide policy and practices in open education in Uruguay. And I think it could be uh, from the, my, my, my experience in as uh, UNESCO Chair in Open Education, so I think I can make some uh, recommendations in, in this area. I started to do that. Um, uh, I think it was very important for me to also to, to see the application of uh, the conceptual model I developed in my PhD thesis and applied in another educational context and in an emergency situation. Um, so I think this, this experience has allowed me to mature my capacity as researcher in open education. Mm -hmm. Uh, I was relevant uh, to achieve, I think it was relevant to achieve an understanding of what's happening in education in my country during the pandemic and in particular the potentials to position open education as an important issue during these hard times. Um, and I started to, to make some uh, conference and uh, I was invited in, 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 in some uh, um, um, events in, 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 the, in the organized by the administration of public education in Uruguay to, to talk about that. So I think it, it, it has an impact in this, in this area. Uh, I believe that also the, the greatest work will be in the possibilities to spread these results among the, the stakeholders. Um, disseminating the findings was one of the, the first action of the UNESCO chair. I told about that, and I shared among teachers, educational authorities, and other stakeholders. Um, I think uh, also the, the fellowship uh, will have a significant impact on the one hand. I, I will be give uh, it will give me uh, visibility to the enormous work of the teachers that have done and the relevance of their voice uh, and seldom heard in, in the story of the educational continuity during the COVID-19. And it was it would be also relevant for the educational policy in the country in relation to the meaning and the power of open education and the need to provide with greater resources and design of uh, specific policies. I hope also it will be relevant in covering the impacts of the COVID-19 pandemic in the grid online in, in accelerating the adoption of open education. So I think uh, the most important um, uh, um, uh, experience was to, 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 to see this uh, and it was a benefit for me, I think. Uh, and also the, the visibility that GoGen uh, give uh, for all the, the research we do uh, and, uh, and the seminars uh, we were involved in and also uh, in the participation the, in the OER uh, 21 uh, conference uh, where we were involved in, the, in, in, in disseminating the findings of the, and, and also the, the fellowships itself. So I think it, it, it all were benefits for me and for the, and for the community, I think. 
I, I think I'm not exaggerating when uh, expressing that is one of the greatest honors for me uh, that I have received in my career. Um, I think uh, the value of the and the leadership of the, the wonderful wor work uh, and that you do you do in the network uh, and the, um, the construction of open education at a global level that GoGen do. Um, and the focus on doctoral training of human resources, uh, the articulation integration is very important and uh, be part of this is, uh, is an excellent experience for any uh, um, researcher and uh, PhD researcher in open education and related um, areas. Uh, mm -hmm. I think belonging to, to Gaussian has had a very important impact on the development of my doctoral thesis uh, that provided space on uh, conditions to be able to connect with an enthusiastic group and committed to research and development of uh, open education around the world. And <laughs> my advice is uh, just try and submit a proposal. You will be happy and your work will be recognized among uh, Gaussian and, and and outside Gojen, because uh, Gojen uh, is all, all, always uh, promoting their, their, their members and the visibility, the work they do. Well, I, I, first of all, I, I feel a sense of belonging of something bigger, uh, a wonderful and supporting global community. This is the most important thing I think uh, I, I feel. Uh, when I, 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 I meet uh, every person that belongs to GoChain, it's uh, quite a warm welcome. <laughs> uh, and uh, and, and it, that's, that is the sense of uh, belonging to something bigger than, than me as researcher in open education. Uh, I think it's a fantastic initiative uh, that GoChain has continued to the relationship with the graduates and through these fellowships and many other activities you 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 develop uh, like the seminars and many others um i think also that um, um along with thanking the this opportunity for funding and the visibility as a researcher in open education uh, I would like to highlight the importance of deepening and expanding the impact of the fellowship scheme towards supporting the, the consolidation of the research career of the many alumni that uh, Gaussian already has. Uh, I have suggested some impl implementation of support and advice to alumni on access to the academic career and existing uh, postdoctoral scholarship schemes uh, through agreements with national and international agencies, among other uh, possible lines to, 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 to make uh, this, uh, this uh, uh, support to PhD students uh, more uh, deeper. Uh, I think it's uh, perhaps a, a way to, to, to um, start developing a, a strong community of uh, alumni uh, and uh, uh, con the continuity of the research uh, we, we do uh, uh, as part of GoGN. Um, I think it's also led to, to further strengths and open education as a research field. And uh, nowadays, uh, GoGN is one of the most relevant agents. Just, just to say thank you again. Uh, I feel uh, part of the of the of the GoChain team. I feel part of uh, the community, and uh, I think uh, I I want to continue collaborating with the network, uh, and uh, I will be involved in every <laughs> every kind of uh, uh, challenge you 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 put. Uh, uh, next to us to 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 develop a more uh, research uh, cooperation collaboration and also much fun <laughs> in the in the many spaces you 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 develop and and and, and the way you grow the community so uh, thank you very much Gautier, and I, i'm very happy to be part of you <laughs>